Are you lost in the AI space? Why do we have ChatGPT? Why do we have Claude? Why do we have Perplexity and many more? Because each of these serves a different purpose. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use each tool to get the best out of it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to structure a prompt because many people use ChatGPT, for example, because that's the most popular one. Totally wrong. And now we're going to discover how to actually use AI to get its full potential. So we have ChatGPT, then we have Claude AI, and then we have Perplexity. And in this video, as I said, I'm going to show you how to use each of these to get its most capacity out of it or the most potential. Uh, many of you probably only use ChatGTP and that is a big mistake. Even though ChatGTP, of course, is the most popular one and is the most used one, but it's not the best actually. In my opinion, for many tasks, it's really good. But if you want a better niche down, for example, code then you use Claude AI. Sorry, this is perplexity, but you use Claude AI. Uh, if you want Google on steroids, how they call it, you use perplexity because I don't even Google anything anymore. I just type it into perplexity, but ChatGPT has its way and I'm going to show you why I still use it. You know, there is many more <clears throat> variants of ChatGPT. I'm on the paid version uh, for the 20 bucks a month. Uh, I find it amazing and I highly um, encourage you to buy it too because the free version is... Mm, not the best in my opinion. So I use GPT-40. It's the, as they call it, great for most tasks. I agree. And yeah, let's move straight into the video. But before we actually do, I want you to hit that subscribe button, like and comment what you would like to see next or what you want to improve. And you can also add what AI tools you're using right now. So chat GPT, what is it best for? I use chat GPT mainly for these reasons. Uh, writing YouTube titles, hooks and thumbnails, it really helps me with my YouTube strategy. I always come for advice, I always come for uh, maybe calculations on how am I going, like predictions, how my YouTube channel will grow or weight loss tips or these basic Q&As. This is what ChatGPT was made for. It's like an all-rounder. It's not really good at any specific thing because even the image generation, we got Leonardo AI. You can check that tool out. We got many more image generators and ChatGPT is really not the best one. It's not the fastest one, but it does the thing, you know. Uh, then we got polishing outreach in emails or sales copy. It really helps with that. I have also made a couple of videos on make.com. Uh, many more are actually coming on some automations on outreach. So there I also use ChatGPT modules to write me email copies and stuff. So awesome for that. Explaining simple code, even though Claude does it better. And I'm going to show you why in a second and role, role playing conversations so you can use the voice action which i'm going to show you uh here we got the voice sorry here we got the voice gpt hey what's up gtp how are you hey i'm doing great thanks for asking how about you how's your day going nice i'm doing great i'm just filming a youtube video so can you tell me what are you actually best at? What is GPT best at? And maybe compared with Claude AI and Perplexity. That's awesome. I love that you're working on a YouTube content. So I'd say GPT is really great at generating conversational responses and helping with a wide variety of topics from creative writing to coding. Claude AI tends to focus a bit more on being a helpful, friendly assistant with a bit of a different personality and style. Perplexity is really strong with research and pulling in information from the web. So it's great for getting the latest facts and up-to-date info. They all have their strengths. Yeah. So you saw how to even conversate with ChatGPT. That is something that Claude AI doesn't do really well. I don't even know if they have an actual voice assistant. Uh, perplexity, the same thing. But ChatGPT is like an all-rounder and many people use it. So you use it for the small things and it does the job. Okay, so there was GPT. And as I said, I'm going to show you how to format a prompt in the best way for any model, whatever it is. It can be GPT, it can be perplexity. But that's going to be at the end of the video. Now we're going to move to Perplexity AI, which I like to call, or many people like to call, Google on steroids. Because, to be honest, it's kind of true, and I'm going to show you how. So, let's say I want to research myself. So, what does the internet know about me? If I will Google it, we can try it, okay? So, let's go to Google. We have some comparison. Okay, not this. Uh, normal Google. Not Google Console. So... I will say who is, uh, it only finds my LinkedIn and it finds my YouTube. Nice. Okay. That's pretty good. So if we see, we can see my YouTube channel, right? Yep. You can see my YouTube channel. 
highly advise you to watch these two videos they're super super valuable i would i would say uh and these are the kinds of video i would actually make uh in some school community for money because they genuinely generate a ton of value and you can make thousands of them so definitely don't miss this out but this is what google find us literally nothing so let's literally say the same thing okay so it wants actually to sign up but i don't want to do that right now just have a free version so uh these are just some pop -up, probably like the same the people who has the same name and stuff but it already found my youtube link find my linkedin it find the same thing as the google but it actually provides an crazy value it literally says my business is registered at this uh, location it says that i am an entrepreneur <coughs> entrepreneur based in czech republic in pilsen uh i'm involved in business activities related to artificial uh, intelligence and digital entrepreneur like this is literally google on steroids as i told you it says so many things so what videos does he make and are they good so let's see Let's see if Perplexity thinks my videos are good. So, okay, boom. Some of my shorts. Again, my LinkedIn. Okay, so Shavik Solek creates YouTube videos focused on partic uh, particular applications of artificial intelligence. Tutorials, that's true. Demonstrations, that's true. Showcase of AI dream projects such as automating games. Okay, uh, not games. Okay, I, I, I see where, where this, you know, gets the info from, but not particularly games. Business workflows, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this complete garbage never made a snake game but yeah are they are the videos good his videos are perfect and for real world business and creative tasks yes so this is as i said literally and search engine really the best one i i know and you can also use it in make.com i'm uh, not sure if in any then but we're gonna see we're gonna do some research about it but you can actually use this in make.com as a search module you can search something about a particular person so you can have a google sheet of names and LinkedIn profiles and you just feed it to this perplexity module it pops up with a lot of info about the person and then GPT module creates an email I've made a video like this a couple months ago so you can check that out it's a super personalized email machine so perplexity AI and of course you can research many more things with perplexity but I just want to make this video as short as possible and keep the value up so now we're gonna move to Claude AI my personal favorite and I use this the most as an AI automator because it allowed me to build many apps literally like apps that are fully functional because now it's the era of this vibe coding oh sorry vibe vibe coding which is basically using bot that new which is great but it doesn't give you a finished product you know you just type some prompt and it pops out with the good visuals but basically zero backend many times i also made a video because i'm so good <laughs> i made videos on everything everything already this is the video right here and also this i already showed them to you with this you can literally start coding from the scratch literally like after watching these videos and also this one you can start to build your own apps your own websites inside visual Stu uh, studio code or xcode um even though i'm going to make a uh, full like tutorials on xcode and visual code studio and what is in html a little bit more in depth and how to understand swift langu language which is the ios language uh because there's a few differences but if you watch these videos and you have a little bit of knowledge already you can start your own startups uh, get clients and everything so tons of value as i said and i'm also going to launch my own app that's going to be focused on youtube creators or any creators and also i will launch i will launch my school community which is going to be on a next level literally so you got a lot of things to be excited for but let's keep it going with the cloud ai okay so back to cloud ai this is literally your coding partner like with this as i said or as i showed in the previous videos you can code literally anything plus it actually explains the code i will show you some of my chats these are literally chats where i build uh, whole structures in vs code studio and xcode it knows any language coding language and it also explains it you know it gives you a whole tutorial on how to do it where to uh, put all of the files how to structure everything from the basics you don't need to have any experiences no school no nothing you just say it for example build me an 
I'm not gonna do it right now, but if you just say build me and uh, help me build and calculator app, which I've shown in the previous video, and walk me through it from step by step, uh, I'm a total beginner, my teacher or something like that. It literally provides tons of value and walks you through the whole process, so you are never basically lost. Uh, here, for example, I send it the picture because uh, this is the app I created or the landing page I have created. This is going to be my app, but it's really just a beta version, and it was not centered. And there is these buttons; they were like on one side. I wanted them to be like this and this had to be centered you can see so I just provided this photo and I said match the code with my script on the image boom and it did it it sent me the a CSS code. I just copied it. It tells me everything from the start. Uh, you can see here the structure, uh, structure in VS Code Studio, and boom, you just basically command C, command V, uh, tutorial C, tutorial V, you just copy and paste, and you have a functional app. Plus, you actually learn code because using this, you can just say explain what is CSS, right? What is CSS, what is HTML, what is JSON, everything. So this is Claude AI, super powerful tool, and we're gonna to we're going to work with this a lot on my YouTube channel. So uh, you're going to get a lot of use case in the future or even past videos. Okay, so now how to structure the prompt. So just really simply, a lot of YouTubers like to drag things, but I'm just fast. So let's get straight into it. So first, you got to give it the role. Tell it who it is. Uh, so for example, if you want to lose weight, say you're a fitness expert. Boom. Then second is the task. So tell it what do you want? Okay, boom, control Z. Uh, tell it what you want. Uh, so for example, I want to, so you're a personal trainer. I want to lose weight, then context. Give it a Y or extra info. Uh, I weigh this much, um, this long or whatever. This is my height and all that stuff. And then format, tell it how to respond. So respond with emojis, respond in, uh, I don't know, a nice way so I don't feel fat or something like that. And boom, you have it. This is the best way how to structure a prompt a lot of people straight up jump into the task and leave out context format or even the role which is crazy because this is not how you should prompt ai so you're in senior senior ios developer role i want to build and tip calculator app in swift using xcode task explain the full code and walk me through it step by step context and keep it uh explanation beginner friendly and include the full swift code boom so we got in a nutshell you got what we did in the six minute app video and yeah this is it for this video really fast straightforward and i hope you really enjoyed this i love making these videos and i hope you love it too you should learn a lot from these don't just watch it for entertainment and yeah see you in the next one